What up, y'all? Fantastic day, fantastic week. Uh, we cannot complain. God has done miraculous things this week. And I just have to give him all the glory, all the credit, uh, things that he has allowed us to do this week. Uh, I, At one point in time in my life, I would have never thought that I would be in the position that I'm in this week. Uh, and so I thank him. I give God the glory. I give him all the credit. Uh, it's just it's just incredible and phenomenal. And when things like this happen, you just have to, if you are wise and if you have a relationship with God, you got to give him the glory, give him the credit. So I challenge you uh, as we prepare for tonight's video to really think about how good God has been to you. With that being said, today is episode 56, February 25th, 2023. Can you believe it? Three more days and we are out of February. CEO, scripture is on you. Psalms 55, verse 22. Turn your worries over to the Lord. He will keep you going. He will never let, let godly people be shaken. 55th Psalm, verse 22. Amplified reads this way. Cast your burden on the Lord. Release it. And he will sustain and uphold you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. Slip. Fall. Or fail. What's tonight's subject matter? What is tonight's subject matter? Do the hard thing. I'm going to say it again. Episode 56. I just want to encourage you do the hard thing. Yes, we're in turning points. Uh, but tonight, today calls for a different subject matter. I can't get into all that was accomplished this week. For obvious reasons. But I will challenge you to do this. All of us are facing things that we may be uncomfortable doing. You don't grow out of things that are uncomfortable. As you grow in God, as you grow in your walk with God, uh, He allows things to come upon you. He allows things to happen to you where he puts you in a position to make choices and decisions. And to, the reality of it is, is there are going to be some days that are going to be tough. There are going to be some things that are going to be hard. And the very reason why uh, we are in relationship with the Most High God is so we can get the strength that we need to do the hard thing. As I'm talking to you about doing the hard thing, don't make the mistake of thinking that I'm only talking to you. I'm also talking to myself and encouraging myself because guess what? I got to wake up tomorrow morning. And God only knows what tomorrow brings. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but God knows what tomorrow brings. And I may be faced with the decision tomorrow to do the hard thing, to further trust in God. And I challenge you guys, my audience, the audience, the Lord's audience, the Lord's people, and those people who may not necessarily believe in the Most High God, but you're fans of the page, you're fans of the channel, uh, you enjoy hearing my teaching. And hey, guess what? I don't take any credit for that. It's the Lord's work, and I'm able to share it. But I want to encourage you, if you don't know God, they get to know God. It is a lifelong journey. It's not something that you just check off on a checklist. Do the hard thing. Submit to God. Humble yourself. Ask for forgiveness. How about forgive someone else? And let me be very honest with you. Let me be very stark with you. Let me be very brazen with you. The older you get, there are even people that you needed to forgive, but they've already died. And so now you're stuck without getting closure. 
So now you have allowed things to happen. Somebody has died. Somebody's moved away. Somebody's moved on. And now you don't have the right structure or the right life per se to get the closure that you really need. And now you really got to go to God. And let me say this, I'm a fan of doing whatever you need to do to forgive people. Believe you me, when I tell you forgiveness is tough, I've had to forgive some people in my life, family, as well as first tier relationship. And you gotta go get forgiveness and sometimes you gotta go ask for forgiveness. And sometimes you gotta show forgiveness, even if they spit in your face even if they still uh, do bad things to you, still talking crazy about you, you got to forgive them because you are the one that needs to be set free. And some folks can care less. Do the hard thing. Sometimes it's discipline. Self-discipline. Sometimes it's self-discipline. I don't want to do it. I understand. I don't have to do it. I understand. You can't make me do it. I understand. But there's a reason why you're listening to this video. And it's because the Lord has your hand set to do something. It requires forgiveness. It requires self-discipline. It requires action. It requires execution. It requires making a decision. So whatever that decision is, I'm going to encourage you now to go start the process. Start the process. Remember, you are the director, screenwriter, casting director of your life. And if you don't like the way that the film is going, you can fire everybody and start all over because you are the chief character. Your story is about you. And sometimes you got to start over with a whole new script because you wrote your own life. You made decisions two years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and now you're mad at the world because of decisions that you made? Do the hard thing. Humble yourself. Admit the mistakes that you made. First of all, to yourself. Go to God. First and foremost. We, read, we just got done reading the book, Man in the Mirror, Woman in the Mirror. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? You have issues. I have issues. We have issues. Do the hard thing. I can't say it enough. So as we close out tonight, episode 56, I just want to encourage you, do the hard thing. Move on. Move forward. Forgive if you got to forgive. Execute if you got to execute. You got a book in your heart. You got a book in your mind. Start writing your book. You got music to make. Start making music. You got a business to start. Start your business. You got somebody to forgive. Start to forgive them tonight. Today. This morning. Right now. Do the hard thing. It's your man Earl. Episode 56. February 25th, 2023, the Most High God has blessed us with a tremendous week, and I just want to encourage you, as we prepare for next week, do the hard thing. God bless you, God keep you, and remember, you can cast your burden on the Lord. He will sustain you, and he will uphold you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken the righteous to slip, the righteous to fall, 
and the righteous to fail. Keep God at the center of your life. Peace.